that's what we talked about. All we can do from right here, let's just keep them in a blocking stance, not get too dynamic here. Let them feel getting the ball off his chest, okay? Our whole lives were taught when we throw the ball to catch it, okay? Well, when you catch and you block, I'm telling you something different. When the ball's thrown at you, don't flinch, don't catch it. Your body in the way, okay? The stiller you are, the more you, the more you beat the ball to the point, okay? The less it's gonna bounce. It's that simple. See how much movement happened there? And his ball goes off to the right. It was a bad throw, but here we go. This one right in the middle of his body, he's got a chance right there. All right, so we'll do that. Then, if you don't like a guy. <laughs> That's your right. Here we go. Hold on. Okay? We can get a little crazy here and let ball. him really feel what it's like to get the ball off. Okay, this doesn't hurt. Once he understands that that doesn't hurt anymore, he starts to do a really good job. It's starting <laughs> to become fun. Right. I always tell our guys, you'll know when it becomes a reflex and you really like to block. When you're DHing that day, right, and the catcher is on base, he's getting dressed, you gotta run out and catch him between innings, and the catcher throws something, you have no